Skull comes first. And it's good to see Dill back because he's a great player here at Xeno. As we're seeing, he's sitting in winter semis, pretty comfy. Obviously top eight. No slouch. Now we got Mewtwo versus Rosalina. Now, what are, what are your thoughts on this matchup here? Mewtwo now, versus Rosa. I hear people say that it Mewtwo wins uh, in general. Uh huh. And I believe that Debuzz also, you know, he has kind of a pessimistic view of Rosa's matchups. Um, with such an understanding of the character, he knows the counterplay better than anyone. Um, but even without the matchups, the buzz can still destroy you, still yeah. demolish you. As we're seeing, he <laughs> is definitely just throw. He just keeps calling out Dill, approaching the left side of the stage with those up smashes over and over. And there, the killer. That was I've never seen the buzz go so aggro. I mean, I have, but like today, no. Like he definitely went for that neutral air and Luma just putting in work, destroying Dill. Thirty seconds into this first game, yo, the buzz with the whole tournament mix-ups. Yeah, I mean, you gotta do that when you're on stream so much and everyone's watching you. You gotta be mixing it up. And maybe, and also we might mix it up depending on the player, depending on what character they're playing. There's a lot of factors that can come into how you play, obviously. And now we see Dill trying to get this d detail working, because thankfully uh, Mewtwo does have that ability to extend his tail a little bit to keep out of Rosalina's range. But it doesn't matter, because Debuzz keeps catching him as he approches with that, uh, you know, grab. Or right, hits him with a Shadow Ball. But yeah. something about Debuzz's play, he's keeping Luma very close. Does not want to lose it to an errant, uh, you know, tail attack from Mewtwo or a fair. Keeping Luma close, but... That's going to be the death of that Luma. Man, one thing I've learned from fighting against a Buzz, the dude loves running away from you. Like, right <laughs> when you attack, like, right when you attack, and he spaces it so perfectly that he can immediately come right back in. Like, he knows exactly what move you're going to do. So, he just run out of your range. The second you throw out the move, he'll come back in and grab you. Like, he just did it to Dill. Like, he's so good at that. You know, that it just comes from the experience that he has playing this game, being a top three competitor in Smash 4 in the world. All right, and that Nair, I'd be scared of it right now. Yeah. If you get hit by that Luma there, like that, that'll be that'll be it. Now we see Dill getting rid of Luma, doing the down tilt forward air combo. And we got Dill has to buzz off stage to see if he can capitalize with him. And Catches fair. the up B, shadow clawing him to the Nether Realm. The buzz spawning right back in. Dill's not going out without a fight. All right, fully charged Shadow Ball going to do some decent Luma damage, but he's in a bad spot. The buzz throwing out these up airs. It's okay. He gets back to the ground. Dill just trying to space out Luma just a little bit here to get these jabs going in. Dill struggling to get some sort of stage control here as he jumps back into the thing. Up smash. Wow, you see, I mean, DeBuzz is trying to call out Dill as he approaches. He's letting him rip. Deletes it, but you know what? Dill wanted you to do that. Dill knew he was going to go for that. Mm -hmm. Saw the cooldown on that move. Came in, got the grab. Yeah, and Luma's gone too, so that was a very uh, advantageous encounter with him, but... Dill is going hand with these down tilts. Smashville platform assist almost coming through, but lets him get about 30% more damage. Dill's got to buzz off, uh, uh, then just gets right back off stage. Now we see Dill trying to get back on stage. He grabs the ledge, uses a normal get up, but then he just rolls in immediately right afterwards. The buzz not being phased, stands stills and just goes for the jab. Yep, and that was smash. so smart from the buzz. Had the perfect Luma spacing. Mm -hmm. As as the buzz was going for those jabs because Dill was gonna get right into his range, he started to push Rosa to forward just a little bit, little by little, until he could get into up smash range. Right when Dill uses normal get up on the ledge, so yep. smart once again, smart play coming from the buzz. Dill's counter pick. Let's see. I mean, he was getting bopped by him that first stock, but he's starting to slowly learn the like, matchup. He's going straight back to Smashville. Maybe he's learned a thing or two. Let's see if he can do a little bit better this time. Yeah, he had that one down tilt fair conversion onto the Smashville mm -hmm. platform uh, when he got uh, debuzzed to about 41%. Oh, this man is spamming up smash! <laughs> that was four up smashes, my friend. He spammed three, rolled, did another one. Like, uh, gross. But it's already looking a little more even than that last game. Yeah. Just, just, just ignore the fact that up smash comboed into up smash for a second. I see debuzz once again. When you get caught in those up airs, dude, it's hard to escape when you're just trying to land. Yeah, that's why I'm questioning a little bit the Smashville decision, giving that uh, only the single platform, not a very wide stage, not very much room to run away. This man almost, he had to like, you saw Dill was definitely going in and saw the charge death smash, like, I gotta back up just a real quick here. Gotta back up real quick. Yeah, I wanna keep this stock for a little bit more. <laughs> Cause that would have been dead, that would have been deathly. Okay, Shadow Ball, the dash tag, not even killing Luma. Unfortunate. I mean, I, I, I'm seeing right now Dill's definitely struggling with getting rid of Luma. Like, Luma is his biggest concern right now. When he bounces like that, when Luma's bouncing, dude, I am, I'm so scared. I don't know what's going to happen. But he opts to go for Luma. All Quick right, start. there it is. Now it's dead. I don't think you need that second hit, but you know what? Just to be careful. It, just to be safe, he goes for it anyways. I'm pretty sure he's going to fall off stage. But now oh. we see Dill trying to get On these the platform. Is he going to do anything? 
DeBuzz starts to play super campy while he's waiting for uh, DeBuzz to spawn in. And you know, with only 13 seconds, once again, catching him with that neutral air, Yet Luma. another stock taken by the Luma. Was that right as Luma spawned as yeah. well? Yeah, I mean, Luma spawned and then he did it. Like, because he was standing still when Luma spawned. Perfect timing by DeBuzz. Mm -hmm. You know, he keeps probably keeps his eye on that timer just to know he knows. the exact second. It's an when you play Rosalina, other Rosalina players do this. Like, it, when you play Rosalina enough, you have an instinct. Mm-hmm. Like, you just know. When you play the characters that have, like, timers, like Shulk with Minato Arts, for instance, you just know when it's going to wear off when you get it back. You just know. Now we see Dill trying to get back on stage. He manages to, but he gets smacked up. This is a bad spot for Dill. Wow, and that was a lot of damage he didn't need to take off of that, you know, very risky jump in. Now we see DeBuzz once again throwing out some jabs, throwing out some forward airs. Let's see. He Dill. wanted the up smash. Dill going for a risky up smash. He wanted to close it out right there and then. DeBuzz avoiding that down air, just going for the air dodge. Great read from DeBuzz, knowing he was going to roll onto the stage. With the, once again, Dill just try, struggling. And the back hit of Luma up smash, almost dealing it. And this is looking... What? The did setup? The <laughs> setup? Oh my god. That? He almost got the setup with that up smash from Luma. He's like expecting the air dodge. Oh, Doesn't matter. Catches him with it. the up smash. Gets the two stock. 2-0. Coming from DeBuzz. He's going to move on to winner's finals to face off New York's only Pac-Man, Sinju.